the game of the week whenever schools start playing each other for objects like Silver Spurs in Lubbock, Texas, or a jug in Lynchburg, it matters. Tonight, the battle for the lantern between Appomattox County and Rustburg. 10 Sports' Eric Johnson was there for what is always a physical contest. Eric. Getting into tonight's Battle of the Lantern, we said there would be two very important keys to the game, the rushing attack and which team would be more physical. Rustburg imposed its will early and often with a two-headed tandem in the backfield that left Appomattox County a bit confused as to how to gain the upper advantage all night long. Doug Smith locked in for this one. Appomattox County seeking revenge, of course, after being caught off guard last year. Defense setting the tone early. Check out Aiden Statton getting to the quarterback for the Rustburg Sack, but have no fear, DeMonte Fleshman is here and he is out. Yes, he is out like a light. Yes, like a light. Scampers through the open space, turns on the Jets. 88-yard touchdown, 7-0 Raiders lead. Red Devils open up their own rushing attack. It's Marshawn Rosser capping off the drive with the short touchdown run. Two-point conversion from his brother, Quay Rosser, gave them an 8-7 lead. Appomattox County trying to get going yet again, but the pitch play goes awry as the ball is loose. Bumbo, no one but Red Devils around to recover this one. Gavin Smith gets on top of it. That led to another Rustburg touchdown on a 14-7 halftime lead. Second half full of defensive stops and milking the clock. Rustburg had the ball for nearly the entire third quarter while both the Raiders and Red Devils forced multiple turnovers on downs. In fact, check out Sean Kelso laying the boom on this big tackle right here. Raiders had a chance late. They go with the trick play. Fleshman airing it out, but it could not be hauled in. Rossberg will take advantage, finishing off the game with another Quay Rosser touchdown. The man could not be stopped as the Red Devils retain the lantern and beat the Raiders for the second consecutive season, 22-7. to we, we came out last year, beat down football, and we just had the same mentality that we was going to uh, beat them down again. The old line, you know, they was just playing hard tonight. It felt great how they was just blocking making holes and stuff like that. Coach Torrance was quick to remind his team, let's not be complacent. We had the same exact 2-0 start to last year's season. They will look to carry this momentum on the road to Stewart's draft. As for Appomattox County, it will look to bounce back on the road at Heritage. For your game of the week, I'm Eric Johnson, 10 Sports.